In this video, I'd like to continue talking about explicit formulas for geometric sequences. And in these problems, we'll be given a sequence, specifically a geometric sequence, and we'll need to be able to figure out the explicit formula for that sequence. So before we look at this example problem, let's consider what the general explicit formula is. So let's say, we have some sequence a of n where n is our term number then the explicit formula will be equal to the first term of that sequence which we can call a of one and then we're going to multiply by the common ratio which we'll call r multiple times specifically we'll multiply this common ratio n minus one times so remember that r is just our common ratio that's the number that we multiply by to go from one term to the next and remember we're multiplying our common ratio one less time than the term that we're looking to find since we're starting with some term and then to go to the next term and there on after we're going to multiply by that common ratio so we don't want to start with multiplying by that common ratio. It's only in the second term that we use the common ratio to find that. So let's now look at this specific example problem where we need to find that explicit formula. So we start with 3, then go to 15, 75, and so on. This is going to go on forever. And we need to know the first term in our sequence. That's 3. So this is our a of 1. And we also need to find that common ratio. Now to find the common ratio, you basically just need to choose one of the terms and divide by the term before that. But you can also set up an equation where we can say that from any term, let's say 15, to get to the next term, we're going to multiply by that common ratio r, and we're going to get 75 for this particular sequence. So we can solve that equation for r, by dividing each side by 15. So r is, excuse me, 75 divided by 15, and 75 over 15 simplifies to five. But we could have done that for any of the two terms. So for instance, we could have chosen 375, and we just divide by the one before that, which is 75, and 75 goes into 375 five times. Now, a general piece of advice is that it's usually easier to find the common ratio with the smaller numbers. For instance, we could have taken 15 and just divided it by 3, and that would also equal 5. So now that we know our common ratio and we know the first term, let's just match it up to our general formula. So for us, we have a of n is equal to that first term, which is 3. And then we're going to multiply by the common ratio, which is 5, and we'll raise that to the n minus 1 power. So this should be our final answer that we're going to put in the box. However, with these problems, it's a good habit to check your work. Since even if you've done this for years, you're still likely to make the occasional mistake. So finding a way to check will at least guarantee that you're doing the work correctly. So to check this, well, we can choose any term that we're given and then use our formula to check that we can actually find that term. So for instance, the fourth term is 375. So a of four, we know that that's 375. So we wanna make sure our formula works. Since remember, these explicit formulas are particularly useful for finding a specific term in the sequence without having to generate the entire sequence. So we can just plug in four into our formula and hopefully we'll get 375 and that will tell us if this is right or not. So we get three times five to the four minus one or three times five to the third power and five to the third power, if you multiply that three times, you get 125 and three times 125 is 375. So we got what we expected which means we can feel very confident that this explicit formula is correct for our given sequence. 